scoring runs? You know, sometimes you just win in different ways. And sometimes we win on draws. Sometimes we win on offense. And sometimes we win on defense. And I think that, um, you know, when one component wasn't at our best, the other component was really uh, stepping up and having their back. And I think uh, that was huge. And we knew it was going to be a battle. That kid's really good on the draw controls. And, and uh, we knew we were going to have to fight hard for it. And we were able to put away our shots early and kind of gain some momentum and carry that through the rest of the game. What can you say about Madison since he's back day to day in the yeah, I mean, she was unreal. She was just unreal. She knew exactly what shot she was going to see. She was ready for them. Our D uh, really committed to what we wanted to do and uh, gave her some good looks. And, and I think we were frustrating them. And, and uh, you know, she was able to, to make some phenomenal saves. And Allie Burkery historically has played more of a defensive role for you guys, but opened up the scoring today. What was the atmosphere like when she scored that first goal? Yeah, anytime a defender scores a goal, it's it's huge. Allie has some serious offensive skills. Uh, actually, quite a few of our defenders do. Um, and so whenever she goes on that offensive end, she's very comfortable. And I think she just wanted to play fearless and put it all out there today. That was kind of our messaging. And, and I, th I was really proud of the way the team did that. And you spoke about those Maryland and Rutgers losses a couple weeks ago and leading into the tournament, but in hindsight, how have they helped set you up for this weekend and heading into the Final Four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, true believer of, you know, things happen for a reason, and it was really tough to have those losses and and uh but i think it allowed us to really reevaluate some things and and really buckle down and um you know the commitment from the group right now and the togetherness is really strong and what were the main focuses in the timeout talks during the first and second quarter where you guys were starting to run but not quite there yet i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Just attack, keep attacking. That was, I kept saying that, um, you know, and and um, so I, I just think that's really what we wanted to do is just continue to, you know, not like settle in because we had a bunch of goals ahead. We wanted to just con keep continu continuing to stay aggressive and, um, you know, attack them as much as we could and, and keep doing what we were doing on the defensive end. What was the impact of Ali Palermo today eliminating Megan, Megan Tyrell specifically? Yeah, Allie doesn't get a lot of attention, and she is phenomenal. She's absolutely phenomenal. She's a competitor. She's so athletic. She does. She really does it all, and uh, she's a big leader for us. And she's anytime you know she, I ask her to you know shut someone down. She's up for the task. So really proud of her effort today, and and uh, you know she's a key component for us for sure. Yeah, anytime you have a rivalry with another team is always extra, you know, motivation, extra emotion. And, um, you know, I, I know I have a lot of respect for them. Um, and, you know, their their players are phenomenal. And, and uh, you know, just some of the kids that, you know, ended their career today, I, I just have a lot of respect for them, especially uh, Howard Chuck. And, and um, you know, I think for us, we it were it really wasn't about revenge it was just really about us being our, the best version of ourselves and going out there and playing aggressive and and uh you know just doing our thing and that's really been our focus since um we had those setbacks at the end of our season and so we're just going to continue to 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 do that and focus in on ourselves and we feel that you know when we play together and we are our best self we can we can play with anyone It's awesome. I mean, the, the, the environment on the lake is just second to none. And, um, you know, the fact that everyone's coming out and supporting us and giving us that lift that we need, it's, it's huge. Uh, the home field advantage uh, was really, really big. Uh, you know, not having to travel is a huge thing as well. And 
Um, so it really allowed us to zero in on the game preparation and, and focus in on the players as much as possible. You won by just one goal against Syracuse earlier this season. Is there anything from that game and takeaways that you prepared with heading into this game? You know, honestly, it was like we are to two totally different teams at this point. They've had a few injuries since then. We've had a lot of changes since then. And, you know, I think f from our perspective, I think we really believe in ourselves right now. And and uh, that, was, that was probably our biggest change, but we weren't really comparing that last game. We knew, you know, when you lose a one-goal game, you're going to come in motivated. We knew they were going to come in extremely motivated and we had to match that and um, you know I think we did a nice job of that today. Obviously uh, you and Jesus are in Dirk Phillips the teams that you guys have played this season either one of them is going to be the next matchup next week what's the mindset going forward playing those two strong programs? Yeah I mean you know at this point point everybody is just you know the cream of the crop so I think it'll be a, a great matchup tonight obviously UNC has just been dominant as of late and uh, Stony Brook is a really really tough program um, you know they're extremely gritty uh, I know the last time around they gave UNC a really tough fight so I'm excited to watch that matchup I think it'll be a great game and and we're looking forward to whoever we play we're just really excited to have the opportunity to to go to the final four some of the things you especially today what were some of the things you tried to take advantage of against Syracuse on the defensive side for them yeah we wanted to obviously um, you know control some of their better players and I think we did a, a great job of that Hannah Gillespie did a great job with Howard check and and um, you know Ali obviously did a phenomenal job as well and then I think our other players really played great team defense you know and so that was our main thing. And then, you know, any time they got an opportunity, there was Madison, and she was making the saves. So um, I think it was just a full-on group effort, and I'm really proud of them. Yeah. And just offensively for you guys, just what were some of the things that I guess you were taking advantage against Syracuse's uh, goalie keeper, Howard? Yeah, we just wanted to create as many opportunities as we could, as many shots as possible, eight meters, that type of thing, and, and then put our shots away. We were able to do that early. She came up with some saves in the third quarter, um, but we were able to kind of close it out uh, towards the end. What can you say for the four amazing graduate students and their leadership coming out so strong in the postseason, now going to the third straight Final Four? Yeah, I mean, I think – they're going into this uh, tournament. They they've really I think those losses at the end of their season really created a scenario where they have a uh, little fear because they they feel like they've already experienced you know the heartbreak and they just want to go out there and and uh, feel like they've put everything into it and I think you know to to make three final fours in your career it's pretty unbelievable um i don't think they're satisfied with that but um you know they they should be already really proud of themselves and i'm excited for them to to go out there and just give it their all and then this is a very dominant win for you guys what's that momentum going to bring into next weekend you know i i, I think it's I just think that we're playing well, we're in sync, we have momentum, we're hungry, we're focused. Those are the things. The winning on the scoreboard really doesn't matter. I think it's just how we can create that energy for next week's practice. We have a good week of practice leading into the Final Four. That's, uh, you know, we talked about that at the beginning of the fall, you know. Um, and that's, that's really going to be a focus. We're not saving anything. We're, we're going to prepare, we're going to be ready, and we're going to battle. You know, I think just mindset-wise, I think she's really confident right now. Um, I think she's trusting, and she is just um, seeing the ball so well. Uh, it's it's all areas. You know, as a goalie, a goalie is, is such a mental game, and, you know, to be cohesive with your defense is, is huge, and I think she's doing an amazing job at that. Um, she really is ready for, for any situation, and, and uh, you know, she's also not, you know, if there's a goal that's let in, she's not letting that get her down either.